made out of uh, uh, an old uh, pill container, uh, some brass wire, and a uh, stack of uh, magnets that you'd use like on a refrigerator for, for kids, kids toys and things. Drilled a hole, stuck the wire through there, coiled it up and made it in a little ring. Uh, this whole thing fits inside the pill container and then uh, it does a pretty good job too. Nice and simple. So the reason the reason the wire is on there is so that you can pull the wire loose and pull it back away from the end. And then uh, when you do that, all the uh, all the the magnetite drops off. Watch. See it all fell off. So that works pretty good too. It's, it's, so unless you if you don't have the time or the money to buy one, you can make one real quick out of using just some magnets, some electrical tape and some brass wire. You can get all this stuff like at Michael's or one of those places that's got hobby shops. Here are all the components laid out for making the uh, magnet. Um, these are the magnets I bought, the tape, pill bottle, uh, got a hole drilled in this cap for the, for the wire to go through. Uh, a generous hunk of uh, uh, 12 inch to 14 inch brass wire. The magnets are all stacked together and a uh, pair of pliers for putting it together. The uh, magnets cost me about ten dollars. Um, they actually cost about six dollars but a uh, cute little gal right outside the door caught me and I ended up spending four dollars for Girl Scout cookies. So we got Girl Scout cookies, magnets, tape, pill bottle, wire, and uh, the magnets and a pair of pliers to put it all together with. So I'll assemble this thing, uh, I'll break it up and show you the different steps as I put it together. Okay, so what you want to try and do is get that wire wrapped around there in a U-shape, twist it, and uh, pretty much centered on the body. And uh, we're going to tape that up and uh, I'll, uh, I'll come back after I get, get the tape on it to show you what I did there. But basically I'll run tape top to bottom, top to bottom, then around the sides all the way around. So now you have it all wrapped with tape, twisted, push these together a little bit and uh, push that onto your wire through the loop, like so. Put it in the uh, pill bottle. Tighten it down. And when you push it all the way down to the bottom, now form your loop here. That way you have room to be able to pull it back and forth to pick up material. So hang on a minute, we'll bend this. I just put a 90 in there, a little kick, and I'll bend this around. Twist a little bit more wire. Bring it around. Cut off the excess. A little more bend in it. Now we have a unit with a hook on the end of it, so you can grab it and move it. Just so happens I've got some uh, magnetite here. Push it down on the magnetite, and pull it up, and there's your magnet. Then pull back on this on the wire, and the magnetite will drop off. Now I bought these magnets at uh, Walmart and I've just noticed they're not as strong as the ones that I had. So uh, going to some uh, uh, more uh, higher strength magnets would probably be a good idea. But uh, that gives you the basics on how to put this thing together. And uh, just for giggles and grins, uh, we call it Maggie. Uh, the reason is, is uh, I have a uh, granddaughter who uh, thinks this is just great and it's fun to play with. And uh, she took it away from me 
and uh, took it into her grandmother and got a new label put on it. It's kind of faded now, but uh, you might be able to see it on there where it says Maggie across there. So this is Maggie. And as you can see, it's got stronger magnets than the original one. So um, the big thing is to find some uh, really good, strong magnets and, and use those. Put them together just like I showed you on this one. And uh, you should have something that you can use with your uh, gold panning out in the field. All right. Have a good day.